structure really needs to be there to help the audience out. So a very clear structure, a structure that helps them engage is always going to be the best structure you can have. In terms of structuring a, uh, I guess a science presentation, then there are certain elements you have to have. The structure of my presentations was to have an introduction, to something to pull the audience in. I would definitely, with an introduction, try to have something a little bit outside the box. I would talk about what, what drives me to do it, you know, what, why, did I, why did I start, and I may start off with a story. I guess this is the time to be less scientific, be very emotional about the effects that you can have on people and make sure that people see what it is you're trying to achieve, get the heart of what your idea does and put that at the start, put that at the end, so that people, right from the get-go, know, know what it is that you're doing. You have to have, you have, to have that, that initial why you're doing it at the start, so it's really, really important. Your opening is around what is the problem and what is, what is it that you're trying to prove or solve. I would definitely not, and this is a mistake I see people do a lot, is have an interaction where they have their title slide and then they read their title and then they say, this is what I'm going to talk about, dit, 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 dit. And then I introduced the science and w had an overview of the background information that they'd need to understand the problems and the solutions. And then I went into the problem and I showed that how it was a problem for New Zealand and or new the world. The middle has to be the building of your argument. It has to have data that you need, but don't overcook the data. So just keep the data simple. Use the data that tells a story about, about where your science went or, or um, where your research has gone. I addressed the problem and showed how my solution would fix that and would meet that problem. And then I very specifically showed how it would make New Zealand a better place, economically, socially, environmentally. Very clear, separated ways of working towards what it is you're trying to achieve. You fundamentally want to leave your audience with one main message and that really has to come out very strongly in your, in your conclusion. So what is, what is it that you found? When you ask that question, bring that question back at the end, what is it that you found that answered that question? I think the main piece of advice when pitching a topic is that even if the science is in something incredibly complex, you need to make it easily understandable for someone who has had almost no interaction with science. Because if you lose them in the science, you've lost them for the whole presentation. Make sure that you're not being too clinical, um, not just focusing on how it is you achieve it, but add in some emotional stuff about, look at how great it is, th th these things that happen when we do this. Look at um, these really tangible effects to people's way of lives that what I'm proposing does. So making it really real for people, so that you take it out of the abstract and make it really consequential for people so that they can really emotionally connect. So some of the key strategies I used for communicating my science and technology was to link it to something people already understood. Imagine you're having a cup of tea. That's the kind of language that you should be using. It shouldn't be formal, uh, it shouldn't be overly technical. It's like you're sitting down with your grandma, having a cup of tea and explaining to her what you're doing. And that's the kind of connection you need to have, even if that audience is a thousand people. Imagine those thousand people as just your grandma.